History tells us change happens, and it can happen fast. As a child growing up during the Cold War, in a family that fought for social justice, who marched annually for world peace, being a teenager in 1990 was exciting and inspiring. It was a year after the Berlin Wall fell and world peace at last seemed within reach. And it was just three years after Grow Harlem Brundtland introduced sustainable development. World leaders had shown me that transformative change was possible. This was a call to arms for me. I was lucky to be raised in Vancouver, Canada, where Greenpeace was founded. The city hosted an important international meeting of world leaders in 1990. At that time, it was one of the largest environmental conferences ever held. It was a precursor to Rio 92 and five years before the first COP. I was selected to be part of the youth delegation. And this was a mind blowing experience for a girl of 15 to hear politicians and world leaders firsthand, including world changer Gro Harlem Brundtland. This spurred me into further environmental action and I organized Canada's first youth earth rallies, a 1990 version of Greta Thunberg's Fridays for the Future. I was 15 then, just like Greta. My youth campaigning grew and grew for old growth rainforests at home in Canada and indigenous peoples in Sarawak. This was not the norm, but my career path was set. I wanted to work to help save the planet. So I became a doctor of geography, a doctor for the planet. Scientific fieldwork in Canada's wilderness, PhD research at Oxford, and my first fellowship at Tyndall Centre for Climate Change Research set my career in motion. My advice for youth today, go boldly, adventurously, and thoughtfully. Make your own story, channel your youthful energy and enthusiasm and commitment into our shared climate emergency. Make net zero and adaptation everyone's new normal. You are Generation Transform and you are not alone. We're here to help you.